record just for, just in case we say something important. Let's see okay. what to show. Um, if we go to the web page and go to uh, space weather, would show. Did it happen just like last night, or was it the night before? What's today? Tuesday. It happened yesterday morning, um, yesterday early morning, I, as I recall. We kind of. You know, space weather shows uh, those um, intersections of fireballs that get recorded somehow. 19 fireballs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's NASA all sky cameras. So it says above the United States. So it's not all the way around the earth, not all the yeah. way around the earth. That's too bad. They need one for all the way around the earth. Well, they have LCO for that, but it's not an all-sky camera. Right. Good idea. Start an observatory. <laughs> Pay NASA oh. more money. Yeah. The um, hmm. where was it? Pat showed it to me. On oh, there's there's one over the red one over east. Oh no, that's in uh, that's over Ohio. Well, it still could be the one. I don't know how they. Yeah, the, yeah, the red one, the ring, with the. Over eastern Pennsylvania. Oh, you know what? It, I think this is just showing the cameras. Yeah. That are out there, so you don't have that many. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Click on a date on the list to the left to see the fireballs detected that night. So it would be the night of the second, going to the third. I click that. And where is the time here? 2022-0102-644-733 UTC. Let's see, that, that would be, uh, what time would it be East Coast time? Um, 7.33 would be, that's like uh, Pacific, midnight Pacific, if it's seven UTC. Yeah. Are we seven? Yeah. We're seven hours different right now. No, we're, no, we're, we're eight hours three. different. We're eight hours different right now. We're not on daylight savings, I think. And they're showing things. Nine UTC. I wish they would convert that. And that's 10. So they do it every hour or so. Well, I guess when they find it. Well, it happened them. on New Year's Day, so it would have been sunday not monday or no uh, it was saturday set so, yeah that'd be yeah okay well was it was it late on the new year's day or um, early early on new year's day so new year's this is this is New Year's. Uh, don't know how it, how the time goes. At least a lot of these fireballs don't look that big, but of course it's all sky. Okay, I'm sending you uh, an email with a link to the press release. It says it's sent, so you should have it. All right, let's see. Got to open up email. Sent to Tom Says. Yeah. Yeah, Meteor. Uh, most likely. So, those kind of Western Pennsylvania. Yeah. And what time was it? You'll have to read the article. Scroll down, it's a long article. New Year's, they saw a flash on New Year's Day, a lot of explosion. Equivalent to 30 tons of TNT moving at about 45,000 miles an hour. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. That's, that's really cranking. So, I don't see so, more about it. So, 11 a.m. on New Year's Day. So, oh, yeah, Eastern Time. And so that would be um, eight o'clock, eight thirty-two Pacific. So it should be on. It should be in this page here, New Year's Day, I would think. Uh huh. 
And well, it might not have been over that all sky camera. I think they're relying mostly on sound because they showed that red square, but it was heard over. Yeah, well, let's see. Well, 11 o'clock Eastern time, probably a like five hour difference from UTC. So 8 UTC would be like uh, 3 a.m. Eastern. But see, it probably wouldn't record it during the day, I wonder. It wouldn't pick it up. It's not dark enough. Yeah, I don't so that's know. Why, that's why okay. it kind of stops yeah. here at like 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, good point. You don't show it. Oh, that's no good. They need to have them so it works during the day. Yeah. Only by sound, I guess. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, here's Thursday. Should be a good day for looking at the sky. All day long, you look at the sun, too. Let's see. Uh... Oh, this is kind of interesting. What do you think about this, uh, Jerry? AM5. What is it? Harmonic drive hybrid mount. $2,000. Yeah. Is this similar to that other uh, big, huge drive? What was it made by Plane Wave? Direct drive? No, it's different. No. A. You know, yeah, harmonic drive, um, they, it's kind of difficult to explain. It needs a picture. But you know how regular gears have two sets of teeth that engage. Right. And as, as the teeth engage and disengage from each other, there's a slight change in the rate because of an effective change of the radius of the gear because it's defined by the contact point of the teeth. Hmm. And so that's the harmonic error that you get. Or periodic error you get with a gear drive. The uh, a harmonic drive is uh, gears that don't touch each other, but they have a they have an elliptical gear between them that is like a tank tread that runs between the gears, and so it maintains a constant pressure, and so you it gets rid. It's very smooth. There's no periodic error with it. You can look, maybe if you look up harmonic drive, it'll show, or harmonic drive, it'll show you a, um, a diagram of how it works. It's very clever. They're very famous. They're quite expensive, though. Are you saying it's kind of like a belt drive between the two gears? It's, it's not really, it's a belt, but it's it's like if you have two gears that run and you, you, run, you push a piece of paper between the gears as they're running, it'll act like a shredder and it'll pull the piece of paper in. Well, this is like it has a belt that it pulls in and that smooths everything out. That's not always in contact. The gears are not. So the outer gear is, say, an elliptical gear, and the inner drive is a circular gear. And as it runs around, it changes where it's contacting. Oh, Let me yeah. see if I find one. Bodies optimized with a harmonic drive, speed reducer, and synchronous belt. Yeah. Bringing more accurate control. Harmonic speed reducer. Half an arc second. And there's a periodic error curve. Each amount has been measured. Not sure what that amplitude is over here. Can't make out what that says. Arc seconds, but that's that's just going between mi minus 15 or minus 20 to plus 20. They're saying half an arc second. Let's see. Well, it does say stably with control within plus or minus 20 arc seconds. Why'd they say half an arc second? What's what's the typical uh, periodic error that uh, a normal drive gives you? Um, a good, a good, a good one. On, um, on how you um, use your periodic error correction software. I'll send you a link that shows it. Five kilogram mount weight, large load capacity. 
protection okay you should have an email by now yeah i got it just flipping through this thing along yeah that's not going to show the insides i don't believe yep there's a mechanical design all right so let's see your email here Engineering clicks, harmonic drive. How are they used? Ooh, weird. Looks like a gerotor to me. Yeah, you see the there's a there's a link in there that doesn't contact it. It moves between Oops. the two. Whoops. You don't I get rid of that. Subscribe. I don't want to subscribe. There's X. Lack of backlash, unique design. Hard to tell from that design, but if you look down the next one, it shows everything expanded. Oh, so that's a belt right there, huh? Yeah. And the wave generator is elliptical. Sounds complicated. Yeah, it runs around, the, it's an ellipse that runs inside a circle, but it has a circular gear that the ellipse presses against the outer gear as it runs around. So right. with the, you, gotta, with the... you gotta see one actually, uh, an animated version, or you gotta see it actually run uh, open like that before you, um, you get you can grab it get an understanding of it it's quite subtle but it's an old design it's not anything new well it's funny that you can get a a reduction ratio of one to 300 yeah. using a compact light arrangement of gears it's just that's pretty amazing ratio uh-huh Okay, must wear out though. Must I don't think so. I think they're pretty good. Very interesting. So here is a um, better picture. Let me, can I share my screen? Yeah, I'll stop sharing here. Okay. Okay. You see this here? Yeah. See the orange is a circular gear around there. This this gear in here is this spline. See, it's not in contact with the outer gear. This unless, flexible spine. Yeah. Spine. Unless unless the rollers push it into contact as the rollers rotate around. But the number of teeth don't match up. That is, if the outer thing has, say, 100 teeth, the spline inside will have 99 teeth. So they don't match up. And that, give, that gives you an ability to uh, change teeth as you go around. So you don't just stop and stare at something. It actually moves it without, what, um, without periodic error. Well, what would that ratio be in, in that case? I don't recall the exact. But that's not what determines the reduction ratio. They're more subtle than that. Is there more more down the page, or just uh, yeah. no? I don't see. It. I'm just looking for good pictures. So <laughs> you'd have to study it, I guess. Interesting. Yeah. So you can look that up in your leisure. All right. Cool. Okay. So how's your backyard doing? It's good. We got the 
the um, they mounted the bolts to hold the pier down in the concrete. And when they used a template, so they'd be spaced the right way. But when they pushed them in, they pushed them in too hard. And they didn't make sure that the bolts were dead vertical when they, after they got everything all wiggled into place. So the bolts were actually flared out by about two millimeters too far. So the pier wouldn't fit over them. So they came out today, uh, the crew that's working on this, and they brought out some wood and sledgehammers and they bent the bolts back about two millimeters on each side. So they were straight up and down. And then they put the pier on and leveled it. So it's now in the right orientation and at the right height and it's level. So tomorrow I'm gonna go out and set up uh, my telescope mount on it, the two parts of the mount, and then I'll put on the, um, the clamps, the circular clamps that go around and hold the 18 inch tube on put them on so then we'll see how much clearance we need inside the observatory. And I think it's going to show that we have about uh, five or six inches too much clearance. So we can lower the roof a little bit to make the neighbors happy. So I was going to ask. Um, so what, what company was doing the work for you? Um, it's a construction company here called Trillium. Hmm. So, Don't know. yeah, it's just a it's just a contractor and his crew. They own uh, Peter Cohen is the owner of Trillium, and he uh, he's the general contractor. He's the guy that has the house uh, over near you, where uh, he has twenty six cats in his house with him. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know that yeah, and it's down the corner of I forgot the two streets. But it's over so, near, um, you know, the Dos Pueblos High School. So how many workers do you have in your backyard at a time? Um, we've had, um, let's see, one, two, three. We've had about six today. We've mm -hmm. had an electrician. We had a carpenter that came in. They, they found out that our gas line into the island and our stove uh, was not installed correctly. And it was had a slight gas leak out to the outside, but still. And so they re redid it to code and the guy came back and just finished off that. Um, Did they have to cut into the side of your house to get to it or? No, it was all uh, on the outside and, in, and then on the inside of the island. So they cut through the base of our, the wood base of our um, island. And so they repaired that and put it all back in place now. So that's all going ahead. I'm gonna put the, like I said, I'm gonna put the mount together tomorrow and. Uh, and measure it for clearances, and then we'll meet. I guess next Thursday we're going to meet with a carpenter that's going to actually build the um, observatory shed. So, how long do you have to wait for concrete to be able to kind of really mess around on it? Oh, well, we're done with the concrete. Concrete's so, done. Yeah, but yeah, the, but it doesn't need doesn't need to harden a bit if you, a week it, or something. Or? It's hardened for the, uh, the astrophysics setup. We need to only let the concrete harden for three days. And it's been about a week and a half. So, okay. you know, we're over that. So, but it's a dirty environment out there. So I did I'm you, really, did you detail, did you detail all the carpentry needed for your shed? I didn't or, do any of the carpentry stuff. The, uh, it's just a, a shed with, or I mean, a, a, a slab with this pier on it and a witness poles up for how high it's going to be so the neighbors can see and then um, and then the carpenter i'll meet with the carpenter and the contractor uh a week from this thursday at two o'clock and we'll get a bid for how much it costs to make the observatory and exactly what i want it to look like and be like okay so you haven't detailed all, all your shed yet you're the roll it's a roll off top right Right, right. I've showed them pictures of what it is that are like what I want, but we can't find a kit. There are lots of kits out there, but we can't find one that matches exactly what I need in terms of dimension. And it's just a wood, simple wood structure. So, you know, I figured I'd build it myself. Pat doesn't want me to take on that commitment. She wants to have it built. So that's fine. What kind so of bearings? Well, you kind of like use a roller, um, 
you know, skateboard bearings or rollers? Uh, similar to a, a garage door, overhead door bearing or rollers and motor. So, you know, someone will drive down the street, turn on their garage door, and my shed will rock, the roof will go off. So. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> it's raining outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that'll, be, that'll, that'll be fun. Yeah. So, what else is there? Don't have Mike, don't have Dick, Bl Dick, Dick Beam. Uh huh. Miss when people, uh, when you look, look up, past archives of our shows for Monday. And it says like 13 people viewed it. Do you have a way of looking and seeing who the 13 people are? No, no. don't know. Are you, and, you, and if you look at the time that they viewed it for, it could be like one minute, it, it yeah. could be five minutes or, and so that the, the amount of time spent is pretty low sometimes. You, oh, you so, can see the time spent then. Let's see if I can show you that. Uh, let's see, get there. Okay. And I'll get my, my sister's been watching these, I find out. But and she said, Didn't you know I was watching? And I said, I didn't know I, I could get get the identity of the viewers. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to do that. Um okay, manage videos. All right, so I'm gonna switch to my screen. Share. And so this is uh the telescope workshop or videos. And the live ones, of course, are our live ones. Yeah. So let's, let's go to live. Okay. So our last one was this one here. And I can change the details, of course, of what I write next to it. But here is analytics. So click on, so it's got 10 views, no comments. It's got, hey, somebody, somebody gave us a like. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, and then if we click on analytics, one view, one hour of watching. So that, that could be Tim. Uh-huh. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's true or not. It could be. It could have been Tim. Maybe. I don't, that doesn't look right, though. 24 hours. Hmm. Chat messages are when Tim puts in his, his chat messages. He was, he was the only one on. There was some other guy that had his name on there, but it was like some kind of weird Eastern European name and, and, a, and a, just a few letters of comment that didn't make any sense at all. And okay, here, how many viewers are watching your live stream? And so we got up to, looks like four and a half. <laughs> four and a half. That's how it's four there. <laughs> and uh, down to three for some reason there. Uh huh. So somehow we had four. Okay. And what else do we know? Let's see, I can't go any further down that way. If I click on reach, Number of impressions is um, now um, impressions up to the minute. The impressions click through. Now, I, I think sometimes they. What does they, impression mean? I'm not sure. I think it means that they, someone clicked on our link or they got shown the, on YouTube, they got shown our, our link to our show. And maybe that's the number and so only 38 times was a shown shown you know in a search you know might we might come up 38 times and we uh -huh. got two views got two views from that let's see what it says here views that originated from impressions for the selected date range this does not include views of sources we do not track impressions total views are shown in the graph above impressions does it give us a, what this means how many times your video thumbnails were shown to viewers? So if, I assume that means in a search, our thumbnail came up and doesn't show anywhere from external sites. And the total watch time from that was one hour. Yeah. From two, from two people that actually got the viewed. So uh -huh. somebody hung out for a while. And the last 24 hours, let's see, let's see more. This is showing last 20 hours, but it's been more than 20 hours since our show. So, so it looks like we've picked up about 25 people. Well, no, what that means it's is just accumulated. that means our, our thumbnails have been shown to that many people. Oh. It doesn't mean they, they went to our video. <laughs> oh. 
Where does it show? Where do you see thumbnails or or has so been it, Well, it said that back here. It said if I go back. Da, 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 so I'm going backwards right here if you look at this right here it says how many times your video thumbnails were shown to viewers includes only impressions on youtube so what i think that is if you do a search on youtube and it shows you all these thumbnails of videos oh, yeah and then so only two people actually clicked on our on on our thumbnails and got to the video okay and again uh, let's see i clicked on see more and then we had traffic source. So you can, this kind of shows YouTube search. Let's see, total suggested videos, browse features, channel pages. So channel pages would be all our videos where my all the videos are hanging out. Someone went there, and yeah. they clicked on the on the on the video from there. Browse. I'm not sure. That's the, whoever did the browse. They, they spent an hour looking at the video, which is in length, length. And then suggested that YouTube suggested or YouTube search for probably astronomy or something. And uh, or and they got 16 impressions. But actual actual watch time is just this one person. Hmm. So th this seems fairly typical. Okay. Uh, now, now this is interesting. So I to that one person, I don't know if we can figure out geography where that person was from by doing this. Let's see, view by geography. Uh, doesn't tell me much about it. No. Don't know. More metrics. Oh, lots of lots of metrics. Sometimes some of them are not accessible. Sometimes you have to have like five thousand subscribers before they start doing more um, uh -huh. in information for you okay let's see more uh -huh. more what viewer age that's uh, they they know some stuff about some people uh -huh. viewer age the person was one year old was okay. one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> watch for an hour put them to sleep you know, i don't know what they mean by this it's it's oh. Maybe just means they knew the age of somebody. They were not telling you what that age was. Play black location. Yeah. So yeah, it's a little. What about playback that, location? Can you pick on that playback location? Uh, was that in this list here? Right there. Yeah, right there. That's playback the location. I don't know if that would. What that's it just shows one, yeah. right? I don't see any information. Well, I wonder if that means a, like a tablet or whether it means actual ge geography. I have no idea. Hard to say. Very strange. Date. You by date. I don't know. That's just not clear what's going on here. Let's see, video okay. analytics. Now, if I go, let's see, engagement. That's again con concurrent viewers. Yeah. So during our show, we had four people at one time. Let's mm -hmm. see. Um, audience, returning viewers. So they knew that the, most of the viewers were returning. Looks like. Okay. So we've got some addicts. So Tim and maybe Jim was watching, and maybe a couple other people yeah. have been there before. Okay. And so going back to all the live shows let's see our previous one we had 22 views over time uh -huh. and watch time one well, it was 22 views we had 1.3 hours of watch time <laughs> and there's with chats from jim and tim chat messages yeah and watch time Okay. Yeah, it's just just those guys watching. I think. Okay. Eight views since it was published. So, eight after it was published. Of those twenty-two, eight was after it got published, which is strange. Mm -hmm. And 
Lots of impressions. Uh, our thumbnail's been shown 211 times, but only one person clicked on the thumbnail when they did a search for something like our stuff. This, this was Christmas week or between Christmas so how, and New Year's. What, what do we get up here to 100, almost 200 or something? That That's those uh, thumbnails that uh, gotten shown. Oh, I but see. We only, but we only got one. Yeah. Oh, 211. Even, oh, that's what we got. And, and 20, 21% were, were YouTube recommending, which I don't know if that, that recommending means just because he hit a search term or just because YouTube wanted to yeah. give us a little push. And you look over our entire um, year and see which was the highest viewership we had. Yeah, so go back here. And 22 seems to be a max, 23. Going down the list here. Got to get this out of the way. There's a 38. Yep, a 38. That's a good one. That's on June 28th. Uh -huh. And then you, uh, I'm limited there. I have to go to 50. I could go back the whole year. So 38 was there in June 28th. And 33, 78. Way back on, of uh, March eighth, yeah. I've been one of our initial ones. Launches, yeah. Somehow, and people saw it and they said, "I'm never going back there again." Yeah. And the total watch time five hours out of those seventy six views. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we started off with a bang. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Well, you know, I think it depends if I put some words in my uh, in the text uh, describing the, the the thing. If I say something like the occult, <laughs> you know, for occultations, occult. then, then, yeah. then you'll get all these people looking for occult stuff. <laughs> so I think there there may be some connection to wording that uh, is is that I put down when I described the video. So if I say something about nude or other uh, raunchy words, you know, they, they'll probably kick the views up. Or if you put down like SpaceX, maybe that might work. We should, we should put some SpaceX in our titles and that'll, that'll kick the views up. I'll have to try that. And they'll, they'll say, oh, SpaceX. So every, every, every show we should mention SpaceX. Oh. And I can put SpaceX in there. You get yeah, something that- I'm in you know, trouble with SpaceX. Oh no, no, we just we're just talking about SpaceX, you know, doing doing good out there, going to Mars. There's a there's a zillion things to talk about SpaceX. Yeah, I think that's that's cool to yeah. watch what they're up to. Uh -huh. Talk about their rocket and stuff. Real time. It's uplate updating real live live here. Well, I think that's about it, Jerry. I don't have much else to say. Okay. Well, we hopefully go. Hank or someone else will be back next week and we'll get back on the roll again. Yeah. We, yeah. People are getting away from the holidays and getting back into yeah. doing stuff like this. And COVID is all over the place. My daughter. Yeah. Had. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. We, we just we just did an Instagram. I mean, Instacart order today from the Sprouts to get our food in. Yeah, Instead we of going out, but from Albertsons or Scott, just Costco. We did. Costco. We did a Costco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to stay safe for next couple of weeks. Hoping it'll pass by. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jerry. Okay, well, let's see. Hold. Well, that's what's our next thing. We're doing a planning. Are we doing a planning meeting this Saturday? Yes. Okay. Yes. Coming in. Any. Anything on the agenda? Let's see. I'm 4 trying 30, to. Four thirty on the planning meeting. I'm supposed to get uh, hopefully get a contact from the museum about the webinars. I, yeah. No answer yet on that. Okay. Keep pressing them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Jerry. Okay. Have, good evening. Yeah. See you later. In pro.